Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how I name my files. I always use a four digit year, a two digit month, and a two digit day at the start. I'll come back to this in a second. Let's just jump into it. I have a folder called 2015. I know that these four pictures, and this is typical of images, I know that they're from Thanksgiving 2013, so I'm going to select them. Hit the F2 function key for rename, or you can right click and rename, doesn't matter. So 2013, November 28, underscore, no spaces, Thanksgiving. And I just renamed all those four pictures. The advantage of my method is no matter how you sort, they'll always be in the right date order. And it's the only thing that's consistent with names. Here's another trick is let me close this. If you're frequently searching for files, I'm going to go to details view and you can see that I've already named these pictures. So they're from 2006, December 1. Doesn't matter about when they're from. I happen to know that picture 1, picture 20, and picture 24 have a friend of mine named Bonnie in them. So I'm going to go to details view, right click anywhere up here and turn on tags. Here's what tags do. I'm going to click picture 1, hold down the control key, picture 20 and picture 24, turn on details pane, in Windows 8 it's down at the bottom, in my version it's over here to the right, put in Bonnie, semicolon, put in holiday, save, you can close this if you want to, it doesn't matter. But here's the advantage of that, is now it doesn't matter. I can search for Bonnie even though she's not in the file name. We close that. So that's when I add tags to my files. Because you don't want your names to get so long that they're hard to figure out. And let me jump back here. So if, if your organization doesn't have file naming rules, you should come up for some for your department or just for yourself. I don't care if you do the year this way or the second way, but be consistent. Secondly, don't use spaces. So this is bad right here, what I did. And here's when I use dashes, CPR training, Chris Menard, Tammy Wilson, CPR training, Chris Menard, and Karen Jones. Thank you.